um, I'm relieved. Yeah. I hope uh, Pulatov would have been uh, found guilty as well, but that wasn't the case. But it feels good right now. Uh, this is uh, part of justice for us. It's not the whole thing yet, but it's a good start. For the you know nearly 300 victims' families, it's um, it's a difficult day. Maybe um, you know some of the other uh, victims' families may feel some closure from this, and I really hope they do because it's a real difficult thing going for your life each day, wondering why this happened and and what would lead people to do this. But. Um, um, well, there was some there was some relief because we really weren't sure, I guess, which way it was going to go. Um, but there's also a lot of sadness as well. Um, yeah, and I think we need to all like you know turn it over in our minds for for quite a while, and I think we're quite exhausted. But we're really thankful that the process happened, and and we're thankful that it's come to this end point. Uh, I'm very pleased that um, that uh, the judges have uh, made uh, their uh, decision, and that is leading uh, to a verdict uh, on which uh, four of the uh, three of the suspects are really now convicted at this time, and it brings justice to the victims of uh, the MH17 and to us as relatives. I'm relieved. Why? Because we are not there where we wanted. It's a very important step today. The judge has most of the time everything evidence-based on the table, put on the table. And for me it's the opportunity to tell this story all over the world. That's our job as foundation and let the other world leaders in the world know what the Russian did and they refused to take accountability and responsibility for their actions. For now it, 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 is, it, is, it is difficult because they're not here and uh, Russia doesn't uh, do an extradition. However, uh, those, these, these sentences, they will never, uh, they will always stand. And if there are changes, if situation changes, if the things change in Ukraine, Maybe things will change, but we will always try to continue to get those people behind bars. Are there any talks with maybe with the help of Ukraine? They, all the, the, the way we as prosecutors said that things happened, now the court says yes, it was a perk missile which was coming from Russia, it also returned to Russia. It was fired from this field was, which was in the hands of uh, the Russian-backed separatists. Uh, yes, the role of these suspects, uh, they did what we also said that they did. So this is really important for the next of kin.